Welcome back to Here for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 953, we're going to talk about Othari, the Sun's Glory. Now, this card plays way better than it reads. So, for five mana, we have 3 3 flying life link haste, which ain't nothing, you know. When Othari attacks, you get an experience counter. Then create a 2 2 rebel token that's tapped and attacking for each experience counter you have. Now this is beautiful because there are very few ways to get rid of experience counters. Uh, the only one that comes to my mind is Ultimate in the Karn restarting the game, maybe? And, and then for four mana, you tap an untapped rebel you control to return Authority from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. So if it gets too expensive, you can avoid the commander tax. So, I built the deck and played it, and then I immediately went back and retooled the deck because this thing was more serious than I thought it was. My goal is to play Othari as absolutely as quick as possible. And once you see the amount of ramp, it, yeah, here, let's go ahead and get to it. This is an unholy amount of ramp, and I do apologize. Um... Oh my god, it, it, it's too much. But the idea is get Othari out as quickly as possible, which can happen turn two, turn three, most games. <clears throat> and just start mounting up those experience counters. I wish I had more. Well, anyway, we'll get to it. Uh, so, our ramp. We're going to go through these pretty quick. They're all pretty self explanatory. Arcane Signet, Liquid Metal Torque. I know Gifts of Estate does not directly ramp you, but it does put lands in your hand. A uh, Hedron Archive, which also doubles as some card draw. Pristine Talisman. Prismatic Lens. Cisse's Ring. Marble Diamond. Mind Stone. Fire Diamond. Felwar Stone. Mana Geyser. Everflowing Chalice. Soul Ring. Phyrexian Atlas. Worn Power Stone. Commander's Fear. Spectral Searchlight. Ergolem's Eye, Darksteel Ingot, Ornithopter Paradise, Burnished Heart, Wayfarer's Bauble, and Thran Dynamo. Like I said, that's a whole bunch. Because this is a one... It, 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 it can totally be a one-creature deck. Othari can do the thing by herself. I'm telling you. Um, a little bit of card draw, obviously, in red. You know, uh, Faithless Looting... Light up the stage, thrill of possibility, and then the reforge the soul. Now, I only have three other creatures in the deck. That's it. Tari and Mauler, just because it's decent. Um, Odric, because I, I mean, that way our rebels can get the abilities that Othari has. And then Phantom General, which um, makes the rebels bigger. Uh, also the intangible virtue, that vigilance is key. Um, now, the one, the, the rebels that Othari creates that turn attacking, they come into play tapped and attacking. So your other rebels that you have to have left over from previous turns, those are the ones that will benefit from vigilance. And also those are be the ones that you can you know, tap to bring Othari back if something should happen to Othari. Now, um, Cathar's Crusade is silly when you're making... Because Othari doesn't swing for three. She swings for three plus two the first time. And the second time, it's three plus four, three plus six. It is crazy. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, that's just each turn, not counting the ones that they didn't deal with that you already have. You, it's like a assemble the legion. That would assemble legion would have been a great card in here if I had had it. I, I would have put it in. Uh, assemble legion would have helped the impact tremors plan. <clears throat> but true conviction is. I mean, th this is just about. You know, if if true conviction is not answered in any deck, it's hard to lose. Uh, so I encourage you, if y'all see a true conviction in play, get rid of it before it gets rid of you. Uh, concerted effort, doing the same thing Odric does, and then shared animosity, because, you know, they're all rebels, and that's kind of why the 
Tarian Mauler is also in here. Now, I have one ex extra attack step card. Uh, I would have more if I had access to them. Uh, aggravated Assault is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, because if you can get multiple attacks off with Othari, your Rebel production is going to amp up like crazy. Originally, I had built this as a uh, mask era rebel fetching thing and I was like I don't even need that I don't even need that I just need to play Othari as fast as humanly possible uh, and I need to protect Othari so uh, swift fit swift foot boots um, unquestioned authority now this is great because it can't be blocked it's got protection from creatures right so that means because three three let's face it it's not real big after the first couple of turns you're gonna Othari's going to get blocked and killed, you know. Granted, it does have e evasion and flying, but... So, um, Rootborn Defenses and Unbreakable Formation. Now, uh, another another good card, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, would be Maze of If, you know, because you, you want that attack trigger to get the experience. And the... the Rebels, so Maze of Ith would kind of, you could attack into unfavorable situations that way. Anyway, there is a bunch of removal here. We're going to go through the spot removal first. Uh, the Condemn, Oblivion Ring, Crib Swap. Now, I've got Aura of Silence as removal because it's preventative maintenance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ounce of prevention and all that. Uh, artifacts and enchantment spells your opponent's cast cost two more. So that will slow that mirror deck down. It will slow the whatever. Um, we have chain lightning, return to dust. Love manatize because people just don't... People tap out. And the reason why I've got manatize and lapse of certainty. Uh, our good friend disenchant. Sword to plowshare. Wear and tear because that's amazing. Uh, lightning bolt. Now, let's look at, you know, mass removal. We got seven cards here. Uh, because, quite frankly, there are, if Othari gets murked somehow, if Othari dies, uh, we really don't care about the rest. I mean, I've never had more than a dozen rebels with it because by that time, you're just one anyway. But, Something happens. Othari gets killed a couple of times. You don't have a rebel to bring her back or you, whatever. You've got to wipe the board. By invitation only is amazing. I love this card. Just simply because it's a sacrifice. So the indestructible doesn't come into play here. But I mean, we do have the populate. Playing your outburst. Doomscar. Shatter the Sky, Slash the Ranks, and Austere Command to help. Because generally, I have noticed from a strategic point while playing this deck is you need to be the one with the big wide creature board. So in order to do that, ideally, you want to Wrath early. You want to wipe the board early because people have that starting hand of seven and it is there it's the most resources they're going to have well the most cards they're going to have so some of them are going to be land so you want to get you know i would say ideally playing it on curve you wrath on four Othari on five and you're the dominant presence of the board now there is there is a certain arch enemy quality with that uh, that the board will band together, and sometimes it doesn't even matter. But that takes us to our non-basic lands. First and foremost, of course, is Rogue's Passage. we got to have that. Um, the rest of this is just mana-fixing stuff, you know, Vivid Crag. Smoldering Crater, I like to cycle lands in one to two color decks, just simply because if you, don't, if you draw them late, eh, you can cycle them away. Uh, Forgotten Cave, Terramorphic Expanse, Windscarred Crag, Temple of Triumph, 
Drifting Meadow, Rustvale Bridge, Boros Garrison, Battlefield Forge, Desert of the Fervent, and Clifftop Retreat. And then, of course, we have our, uh, you know, our basic lands. But that is it for Othari. I've had a ton of fun playing it. Um, a lot of removal uh, simply because, and if you'll notice the enchantment removal, because there are certain cards that are silver bullets to the deck. You know, Imprison the Moon, Dark Steel Mutation, things that make your commander on board but useless where it's not recastable. Those things are silver bullets to the deck. Um, my local playgroup just has not figured that out yet, and now this video is out, they probably will. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see if they watch, huh? But that is what I have got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Thank you. Big thank you to the patrons. Thank y'all so much. Uh, but right now, we're going to shuffle and cut. <laughs>